365 CRM. To do that, let's say go to sales and traverse to contacts. I just wanna bulk edit some contact records. So click contacts to open the contacts grid. So these are all my contacts. Uh, the count is 214. Here you can see in left uh, bottom corner. Now I just want to change the email addresses of this, uh, you know, uh, uh, this first four um, rules. For, for now, we can export this. To do that, we have to export to Excel and change it to dynamic worksheet. And edit the columns, which columns you want to edit. Now remove these names, these columns. We just need full name and uh, the email ID. So once I will export now. So the system will try to export all these uh, you know, records into an Excel file. Now it is still into save somewhere. So save is that's a desktop and save it. Now, if you go down, you go to desktop, then you will find Excel file called as active contact with get timestamp. Now, open this. File so that in this file, we will edit uh, the email IDs of the corresponding uh, contact records. Then we will re import. So now the Excel file is uh, opening where all the data of the Dynamics 365 contact records will be present. Every time you open an Excel file, it will open in protector view. And we have to change it to the enable. We have to enable the editing of this file. Then we can edit the column image. Now click the enable editing button. Now here we do have email ID. Now I just want to send this to something. Let's say email one at the composite.com and with this and change. Email to and let's copy and paste here and send it to email three and for this let's say email four. This is how we can edit uh, the rows in a bulk order in a bulk way. Now at a time I have edited four rows. Uh, Likewise, I can edit all these uh, rows 
in this uh, sheet. Uh, now I have to save it and uh, close the uh, Excel sheet. Once it is saved, so it's trying to save the document. It's taking time. this file now go to uh, Dynamics 365 application and here we will find import data option here so here to click this uh, ellipse button then you will find more commands and in more commands you will find the option called as uh, import data in import data click the import data option then it will come to you to browse the modified file that we have just created
Here we will go to contacts. We have import data here. Now here you have to select the uh, Excel file that you have uh, just edited. Just modify it. Browse this file. select the file that we have just modified Just check the field mappings. The middle name is map, past name email is map, full name is not map, just ignore it. And next. Submit. Now click this imports. And and click the finish button and go to the window import window that is opened now let's refresh it so this is the submitted import operation that we have uh, done right now by refreshing and this should uh, upgrade the total processing and total success uh, values Yes, to get seems to working. Now uh, it should go to success uh, column value. 
Not a good capacity. Now just transform it and now this one. Now press this. Now if you refresh this contact grid, then you can see the human IP so fast four row are changed. You can see here the past four column, uh, past four row record uh, email addresses are changed accordingly as per our uh, new values. So this is what uh, this is what we call bulk edit. We can also do this using uh, you know uh, some editable grids. Now I have already created a you know a tutorial how to make this grid as editable. So that you can edit in line in this grid without using export input operation. Thank you for watching uh, the tutorial. I uh, hope this uh, will help you in your project. So very often uh, we use this export import uh, to bulk edit data, or we use this um, uh, by removing the master data from one environment to other. So, for more, uh, you know, articles and more videos, you can go to subject.com. Uh, there, uh, you will find the channel, subject and channel. Uh, and thank you for watching. Thank you once again.